Kuti from Tata Motors and I'm here to help you demystify vehicular safety. The automobile, the machine that changed the world, has brought smiles and economic prosperity across the globe over the centuries since its invention. Many years later, this engineering marvel is associated with the loss of 1.25 million lives each year globally while we continue to lose 150,000 lives to road accidents annually in India, not to forget many more injured for life, bringing grief to the near and dear ones and wiping out ambitions and aspirations of many. Road safety thus has become central to the conversation of preventing harm to passengers and pedestrians. It is clearly a matter of priority as evidenced in the five pillars of the UN's Decade of Action for Road Safety between 2021 to 2030, with the ambitious target of preventing at least 50% of road traffic deaths and injuries by 2030. The Government of India too has adopted four E's of road safety with engineering, education, enforcement and emergency care. This movement is being supported through progressive regulation or action by civil society, supported strongly by NGOs or customer groups or serious action by automobile companies who are committed to enhancing safety of their products through large sustainable investments in accident research and technologies for design and development of responsible products. At Tata Motors, our commitment to vehicular safety is evident, being one of the first major auto manufacturers to have invested several years ago in the state-of-the-art digital and physical product development processes manned by the best minds in safety in the country. For us in Tata Motors, safety is a mantra for each one of us. That said, it's important to recognize the limits of the journey in safety and demystify some core concepts. Vehicular safety is oh, not just airbags as is commonly understood by many. Safety as discussed in Dr. Hayden's seminal work, the changing approach to epidemiology, prevention and amelioration of trauma is an all-compassing framework and has numerous aspects covering the vehicle, the environment, the people who drive the vehicle in three stages, namely pre, during and post an accident. This means that safety isn't only passive, meaning devices that operate when an accident occurs, but safety is also active, preventing accidents, including several advanced driver assist features that embeds safety holistically and aids in post crash situations. It is also equally important that I refer to and deal with the limits of accomplishment of safety objectives. As is well known, once a vehicle is on the road, there are innumerable real world safety challenges every driver and vehicle constantly encounters. In addition, the complexity of mass, human anatomy, whether it's male, female or child, complexities of driving on improper roads at varying and sometimes breakneck speeds all pose fundamental challenges of design and appropriate product configuration for maximizing protection in extraordinary circumstances when needed by either the vehicle occupant or the pedestrian. As mentioned earlier, real-world accident situations are many and configuration of a vehicle to meet all of them can make a product very expensive so as to take it out of the reach of our key customers and market segments. Being a mass market player, one needs to provide options for customers even in non-super luxury products which means that we have to democratize minimum safety. The goal is to provide access, access to all rather than make safety a privilege for the few. This understanding of the context and the clustering of accidents and their nature helps corporations like ours identify the right protocols and criteria to incorporate into our products. 
do it right and incorporate appropriate affordable technology rather than everything that's possible and that being made available this also means signing up to third party independent protocols developing products to meet them religiously and abiding by these protocols that provide us star ratings based on very rigorous independent digital analysis and robust physical testing which are very very challenging the development of products to meet star rating protocols is huge engineering effort and requires months of coordinated action between engineering suppliers manufacturing and several others keeping constantly in mind the attribute delivery as defined by the products usp let me now explain to you what the star ratings signify star ratings essentially measure the probability of injury a five star car significantly and substantially reduces the probability of a life threatening injury compared to say a one star car so then what do injuries mean we understand human anatomy in terms of bones tissues muscles blood vessels fluids amongst other things when a vehicle encounters a substantive accident there are principally two things that could happen one is a physical injury due to body contact when items inside or outside the vehicle and the other is non contact injury due to internal movement of our organs and body fluids during the accident both can be fatal depending on the nature of the injury the human body is able to tolerate certain levels of physical deflections and hurt measured as deformation of several body parts in millimeters for very small fractions of time it's useful to know that a crash event gets completed in a tenth of a second or in 100 to 150 milliseconds so for example a human chest coming in contact with an airbag or in the absence of an airbag with the steering wheel can tolerate some amount of deflection for a few milliseconds without harm or injury if either or both meaning the chest experiences greater load or experiences deflection for more milliseconds it will result in serious injury to the rib cage the same is the case for the head the lower abdomen upper legs and the lower legs the protocols define these values very very carefully and appropriately after extensive research and biofidelic dummies are calibrated prior to each crash test after months and if not years of simulation and component and sled testing to ensure that results are in consonance with the outcomes expected so vehicle with a higher star rating have a very low probability of injury for the occupant and vice versa while this is surely not rocket science in my many years of experience i find that this development journey is greatly challenging and hence requires great understanding of the protocols and the several criteria associated with it including guidelines for evacuation of passengers trapped inside the vehicle post accidents it is therefore a great source of pride and satisfaction for a safety professional when the car she worked on gets a 4 or a 5 star rating for it tells her how much her product will serve humanity in several ways enriching her life as a professional given to the cause of safety her safety journey essentially is about converting every body part that could in an accident move from a red unsafe zone to a green safe zone this brings me to the last part of my discussion how does one arrive at deflection values and the injury criteria that forms the basis of the safety conversation at the heart of the conversation is extensive research on cadavers and development of biofidelic dummies years of accident research and analysis by hundreds of safety professionals labs 
government agencies, NGOs, and the community of safety and health professionals who spend lifetimes understanding the human body and the kinetics and the kinematics that define protocols and their criteria. This, along with changing landscapes of roads, vehicles and speeds, is a constantly evolving science. As Tata Motors leads this journey on safety, holistic safety across passenger cars, including passive, active and ADAS, our journey on commercial vehicles is also going hand in hand. Owing to the huge mass of big vehicles like 50 tonner trucks, tippers and buses, holistic safety from the CV product perspective is more towards active safety and our understanding and leadership in this area is much appreciated too. These technologies are also gaining a lot of traction in passenger vehicles. Connectivity technologies are becoming more entrenched as these can be used effectively for triggering post-accident rescue services. In closing, I would like to remind each of you that despite the great advances that we make in technology and understanding of the science of safety, irrespective of the size and shape or class of your vehicle, nothing replaces the simple old advice that espouses the cause of safety. Read in Marathi, it states, Manavar break, Uttam break, translated as, the break on the mind is the best break. And therefore, spending a few minutes on thinking safety before start of any journey and constantly reminding ourselves as we journey through life is as vital as the outstanding computing algorithms that our vehicles are constantly working with to keep us all safe. I really hope you enjoyed this conversation. Feel free to reach out to me with your comments. Stay safe and thank you very much.